Just got enough chicken. <laughs> Dude, knock it off. No, keep it up. It's great. We are here at one of our favorite restaurants, Wind Sun, on a Monday, and you can't go in because they're fing closed. They are doing RD, and we are here to cook a whole chicken with them. This might end up on the menu. It might not. We don't know. They don't know. Let's do it. It's locked. Thank you for inviting us in on your day off. We're just gonna f around and try to create something fun for a large group to eat and share. And you're thinking this is something that might end up on the menu? Yeah, I think it'd be a really fun thing to do for the next month or two. I would not take ownership over this idea. This cool restaurant in San Francisco, they do uh, stuffed spring bird with sticky rice. And I've always wanted to try it since I saw that. We like cooking large format stuff, so this is like right up our alley. Boning out chickens is right up our alley. So happy to help out. See if we're any good at it. Am I doing this? You doing this? Paper, rock, scissors. One, two, three, shoot. So am I doing it or do you? You're doing it. it. Okay. <laughs> I guess we should, have, we should have made them made that more clear. To start, really just using like the tip of your knife to kind of release the meat from the bone. We're not really doing much cutting of the meat. And you have you already separated the uh, the wing? No, I'm about to do that. I'll start working the breast off a little bit. Been doing this for ten years and I've never done it like this. <laughs> this is. Crazy, it's like manual sci-fi stuff. I don't know. You were so close to making a movie reference. I'm just freeing all this carcass up so I can just pull this. Yeah, you, you'll eventually, I'm yeah. Gonna pull. You're so a f straight predator, that No, oh, you beat me to it! Look, look, Damn it! You beat me to the predator reference! So now just work on just release. Tell me, just tell me to predator that Just predator that dude. Just take Keep it off it. the ribcage. I didn't think that it was gonna take this long. Seriously, in order to get this on the menu, would you do one of these a day? Like, it has to be faster. I would probably do two or three a day. If people aren't gonna wanna spend, you know, $20, $30 on one dish, a lot of people like to come here and share plates, so. Does it matter how beautiful the butchering is? It doesn't matter how beautiful it is, but the less holes, the better. We wanna take all the bones out, but keep it intact so the filling doesn't fall out while it fries. Come on! You know, I don't want to spin this as like a super Taiwanese dish. Like, as a white dude, it is something I really try to humbly and respectfully approach. And my uh, mentor, he's from LA, and his folks identify politically as Chinese, but they're from Taiwan. And him just explaining to me that cultural nuance and yeah. understanding that complicated response <laughs> was sort of captivating. And when Josh told me that his folks are from Taiwan, you know, we ended up eating Taiwanese food and then trying to contextualize it historically. And I think that's where we started kind of getting serious about it. Shall we make the rice? Let's cook some rice. Add some ingredients, little scallions, some spring garlic, some regular garlic, some Chinese sausage, oyster mushrooms. We're gonna add the sticky rice. Is this Taiwanese rice versus Chinese rice? Like, um, how did you change it? Where Josh's mom's family from in Tainan in the south of Taiwan. It's a little bit sweeter and, uh, and very porky. Instead of cooking the rice with water, I'm gonna use a superior broth. So roasted chicken bones and pork necks with some unsmoked ham and ginger and garlic, scallions. Wow. Cook that. Sounds broth. great. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so good. We start stuffing the bird. trying to figure out whether or not this is actually going to be a menu item. Like, what are you thinking? What are you considering? So it took 10 minutes in the fryer, right? For a boneless piece of chicken, I feel like that should be enough. We took all the bones out. If it takes more than 10 minutes in the fryer, it's not going to be super practical. All my instincts say that this bird is ready, but we'll see. This is cayenne pepper and Chinese five spice. And hit it again on the back with salt. Not afraid of really over seasoning this because I, I just dried it out. I didn't brine it. Uh, so we're a little bit on the right side raw. It doesn't look as raw, but it's just because it's white meat. And here it's dark meat, so you can see it more clearly, but you know, towards the inside it's raw. It doesn't seem like it needs that much more cook time, maybe even more, more, just a little bit more resting. As long as we know all these factors ahead of time, it's not really necessarily set back. If you put this on the menu and you're like, hey, it takes 45 minutes to make. We're not so far beyond cooked that I think it's a feasibility concern. I'm just gonna try it again. Let's all right, again. let's try it again. I put my timer on for 12 minutes. I think we let it hit like 13. It looks like the extra time made a difference though. It's really crispy skin. Yeah. All right, here we go. This looks pretty good. I literally 
got some ramps in on Friday, some spring garlic, chopped it real finely. We're gonna hit this with some vinegar and make a little vinaigrette. What I intend to season this with is a centennial kumquat. It's good. Holy That's not what I was expecting. Most yeah. sweet and sour things you're used to being like super sweet and super sour. It's, it's really balanced. And then it's just some crunchy stuff, some nuts, peanuts and cashews and fried shallots and shrimp powder. Gotta be a little yeah. bit cleaner of a cut. I think also after I butcher the chickens and stuff them with colder sticky rice, I can like press them down with a sheet tray, make them a little flatter. Like that'll increase the fry time and they'll cook a little more evenly as well. And then we'll also be able to slice them. Let's I'm ready to eat it. Yeah, let's take <laughs> yeah, it out to the bar it. and eat it. Cheers. How are you guys feeling? I like the dark meat a lot better than the white meat. Maybe brine them, press them so they're a little flatter. Mm -hmm. Like even more of the, the kumquat pickles would be great. Otherwise you're feeling pretty good about this. This is probably gonna make it after like one or two, like let's brine it, let's press it so you can like really get nice slices and. For sure. I feel like I'm just using the fried chicken as a lettuce leaf. Or the vehicle to eat the rice. It's like a tootsie pop. Rice is, how many bites of chicken does it take to get to the? <laughs> a lot. I like the brining idea on the chicken just because it is a little bit light with the salt on the outside. So that's seasoned all the way through, like bring, like push that flavor up a little bit more. They can stand up to the sticky rice a little bit better. I totally agree. I would, I think that's the only thing that's really missing from it is the little, little bit of salt in the, in the chicken. Otherwise, I think the, the sticky rice and the salad garnish are unreal. <laughs> I think as a first attempt, this is pretty spot on. Thanks for coming through, boys. You can find it here at Winsun. <laughs> for more episodes like this, click here. You licked my fingers. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, Trig? <laughs> Predator, motherfucker! Tyson! We brought you a lamb. We're so excited to smoke this thing because not a lot of people actually have had smoked lamb before, but it's...